Have you ever looked up at the night sky and wondered why there are holes on the moon? Well, you're not alone. For centuries, the moon's surface, with its mysterious patterns and peculiarities, has intrigued astronomers, scientists, and ordinary folks alike. The moon, our closest celestial neighbor, has a fascinating landscape unlike any other. Its surface is littered with countless craters giving it a pockmarked appearance, and these so-called holes are not just random features. They hold key insights into the cosmic history and the formation of the moon itself. When we talk about the moon's surface, we're referring to a vast expanse that stretches over nearly 15 million square miles. That's almost the total combined land area of Asia and North America. And this expansive lunar terrain is a silent witness to the cosmic ballet that's been playing out for over 4 billion years. These holes that we see are, in fact, craters, the remnants of numerous collisions that the moon has endured over its long existence. These craters range in size, with the smallest ones being less than a mile across to the largest, which span over 100 miles in diameter, and there's an estimated total of over 3 million of these craters on the moon's surface. But why are there so many craters on the moon and why do they appear as holes from our perspective on Earth? Well, the answer lies in the moon's unique environment. Unlike Earth, the moon doesn't have an atmosphere to burn up incoming meteoroids. So, when these space rocks collide with the moon, they leave behind a visible imprint. A crater. From our vantage point here on Earth, these craters appear as holes against the bright lunar surface. Their shadows cast by the sun's light give them depth, making them look like deep pits or holes. So the moon's craters, or holes as we commonly refer to them, are more than just features on a landscape. They are a record of our moon's tumultuous past, a testament to the cosmic events that have shaped it. To understand why these holes exist, we first need to know what they actually are. So let's delve deeper into the world of lunar craters in our next scene. So, what are these holes that pockmark the moon's surface? You might be surprised to learn that these holes, or craters, are essentially the moon's equivalent of a history book. They are not just random indentations, but each one tells a story of the moon's past. To understand craters, imagine a meteor, a comet, or any other celestial body hurtling through space at incredible speeds. When these bodies collide with the moon, they create an explosion of energy on impact. This energy is so intense that it vaporizes the meteor and a chunk of the moon, creating a large cavity in the process. This cavity, folks, is what we call a crater. But craters are not just holes in the ground. They are complex structures with distinct features. Most craters have a raised rim, a bowl-shaped depression, and often, a central peak. The raised rim is due to the material that is pushed out during the impact, and the central peak is formed by the rebound of the moon's surface following the impact. The size of a crater can tell us a lot about the body that created it. Generally, the larger the crater, the larger the meteor that caused it. However, the speed of the impacting body and the angle of impact can also influence the size and shape of a crater. Moreover, the age of a crater can give us a glimpse into the moon's history. Older craters can be identified by their worn-out appearance, with their rims and walls eroded by billions of years of micrometeorite impacts. On the contrary, newer craters appear sharp and well-defined, their features untouched by time. In essence, these lunar craters, these holes in the moon, are not just static features. They are dynamic records of the moon's past, each one a testament to the violent and chaotic history of our solar system. Now that we know what these lunar craters are, let's dive into how they came to be. The moon's craters weren't always there, they had to be formed, but how? Well, let's dive into the celestial mechanics of it all. The moon, our nearest neighbor in the vast expanse of space, has been a silent observer of the cosmos for more than 4 billion years. During this time it has been bombarded by countless meteors, asteroids, and comets. These celestial objects hurtling through space at incredible speeds have left their mark on the moon's surface, creating the craters we see today. But why have these craters persisted for so long? You see, the moon lacks one crucial thing that our Earth has, an atmosphere. Without an atmosphere, there's no wind or water to erode the lunar surface. This lack of weather, combined with the moon's relatively low geological activity, means that once a crater is formed, it's there to stay, frozen in time. So how exactly does a meteor impact create a crater? When a meteor crashes into the moon's surface, it releases a tremendous amount of energy. This energy vaporizes the meteor and a large amount of the lunar surface upon impact, creating a blast that excavates a large hole. The material ejected from this blast falls back down around the hole, creating a raised rim and often a central peak from the rebound of the impact. This is the birth of a lunar crater, 
In some cases the impact can be so powerful that it penetrates the moon's crust, causing molten rock to well up from the moon's mantle. This creates a type of crater known as an impact basin, which can be hundreds of kilometers in diameter. The moon's largest crater, the South Pole Aitken Basin, is a prime example of this, stretching a staggering 2,500 kilometers across. So, these holes are essentially scars from the moon's past, preserved for billions of years. Each one tells a story of a violent impact, a testament to the moon's long history in the firing line of celestial objects. The moon's craters aren't just interesting to look at, they also have significant implications. You see, these lunar scars provide a wealth of knowledge about the moon, our solar system, and the possibility of future moon explorations. Let's start with the moon's history. The moon's surface is like a time capsule, preserving a record of the cosmic collisions that have happened over billions of years. By studying the size, depth, and distribution of craters, scientists can infer the number and velocity of the meteors that have impacted the moon. This helps us understand the moon's geological evolution and the changes it has undergone. But the moon's craters don't just tell us about the moon, they also give us insights into the history of our solar system. The moon has been subjected to the same cosmic bombardment as the rest of the solar system. But unlike other planets, the moon lacks an atmosphere, weather, and geological activities that could erase the marks of these impacts. So the moon's craters offer a pristine record of the meteoritic impacts our solar system has experienced. Now let's talk about the future. The moon's craters are not just relics of the past but also gateways to potential future explorations. For instance, some craters at the moon's poles are in permanent shadow, making them cold traps that can potentially harbor water ice. This could be a valuable resource for future lunar colonists. Moreover, the moon's craters may also contain preserved samples of the early solar system, waiting to be discovered. These could provide invaluable insights into the formation and evolution of our solar system. So, when we gaze at the moon and marvel at its craters, remember that these aren't just holes. They are windows into our past, keys to understanding our present, and doors to our future. These holes or craters are much more than just features on the moon's surface. They are the moon's chronicles, the solar system's history book, and a treasure chest of possibilities for future explorations. So why are there holes on the moon? Let's recap. These mysterious holes, better known as craters, are the result of billions of years of cosmic bombardment. They are the moon's battle scars, evidence of its long-standing presence in the vast cosmos. Remember, a crater is a bowl-shaped depression caused by the impact of a meteoroid hitting the moon's surface. These meteoroids traveling at incredible speeds release a tremendous amount of energy upon impact enough to vaporize themselves and a chunk of the lunar surface. This violent event creates a shock wave that pushes the lunar material outward, forming the characteristic raised rim and often a central peak of a crater. These craters range in size from small, simple craters to larger complex ones with multiple rings and central peaks. The size and complexity of the crater depend on the size, velocity, and angle of the impacting meteoroid. The moon's lack of atmosphere allows these craters to remain virtually untouched, unlike on Earth, where weather and geological activity gradually erase them. But these craters are more than just holes on the moon's surface. They offer invaluable insights into the moon's history and the wider cosmos. By studying these craters, scientists can estimate the age of the lunar surface and understand the moon's geological past. They can even gain insights into the history of our solar system, as the moon's surface acts as a record of cosmic events. Moreover, the craters provide us with a tangible connection to space exploration. The Apollo missions, which brought humans to the moon for the first time, landed near large craters. These sites were chosen as they offered a diverse geological landscape for study, further emphasizing the importance of these craters to scientific discovery. So, in essence, the moon's craters are a window to the past, a testament to the moon's resilience and a vital resource for scientific exploration. They are not merely holes but are chapters in a cosmic story that is still being written. Next time you look at the moon, remember that those holes you see are windows into the past revealing the history of our nearest celestial neighbor.